What's cracking? What's cracking? Now look, I know y'all been uh, tuning in to the Muscle Decor um, podcast when we talk about things going on in bodybuilding and fitness. You know, stuff like I always talked about for years as it is. Anyway, so look, there's some strange things going on. I don't understand um, what it is, but it's some weird shit going on. Mac, what do you mean? This whole Samson daughter, Samson Duda situation with the Milos and one minute he's his friend, the next minute he's treating them like some chick and gave a man a STD. Now, you know, he's out in the open and saying that he's joined um, Oxygen Gym, Team Oxygen Gym. He's part of the camel crew, pretty much. And his wife going to still be coaching him. Like, I think the man is on a road of self-destruction. Because when you look at the interview that he was doing in Kuwait, um, but he was talking about the show, he was promoting the show. It looked it almost like it was scripted. You know, it seems like he and went and signed his life to Death Row Records, and Big Suge is making him say what he wanted him to say. A lot of the stuff was scripted, seemed forced, it didn't come off organic or genuine. It was just like um, a little disturbing to watch. From the Samson that we all um, once, you know, began to know how he's so transparent with keeping his fans in tune with everything. But for some reason, now when that Arnold, Ohio was going on, Samson did uh, a 180. Oh shit, potholes, piece of shit. That's why you got so many potholes. I know y'all heard that. Anywho, he did a 180. And it was crazy because the decisions and his actions and his words are not lining up. And it, and it, it is showing him to be a person that's not credible. It's showing him to be a person that you can't trust and believe when it pertains any information that he's trying to give up and give out because it kind of almost seemed like now he's out for the highest bidder whoever could pay the most or whatever and that is not the route you want to take in no form of business because all money is not good money now he going to Kuwait who do they have out there that came out dominating and still dominating I'm not shitting on Brandon Curry. You know, I'm not shitting on Big Rammy. I'm not shitting on Nathan Diasha. I'm not shitting on uh, uh, Roly Winkler. But I'm talking about consistent and dominating in today's time. Who? I, me, like I said on Muscle Decor, I think he's making a rational decision off an of impulse and that we're going somewhere where they is designed off of more, bigger, and all of this, he could potentially blow his mid section. He could potentially, like, it could all backfire on him, is what I'm saying. And he's doing it at a time where it's too risky. Five months out, five, six months out from the Olympia, that's really risky. You gotta get somebody to know your body, but he says wife coaching him, so we shall see how this pan out. I hope everything worked in his favor, but if it don't, I hope he's willing to take accountability because we already witnessed he don't take accountability. So I hope he's willing to take accountability. The next person, Rubio Mascal or whatever. Now all of a sudden he has this new coach that he's promoting, and it seems like. Um, it's being subliminals being thrown to Chris Cormier. Now, those that know Chris Cormier have been following his work and been a fan of his 
when he was a top bodybuilder, even when he stopped bodybuilding, he's one of the, no, I ain't gonna say one of, he's the best posing coach there is. Living and the most of the stuff he does is like out the kindness of his heart. Let's say he had charged you $100 a session, right? And you can only afford like four. Chris, the type of uh, man that'll give you six to seven sessions, you know, if he see that you really want it and see that you're hungry, that's what Cormier would do. Cormier is someone that you can hit on Instagram and he will respond and reply back. Now, I don't know what's going on with Rubio because he's doing some weird shit. There's competitions that he was saying he's gonna do and where it was getting out and then he didn't do them. And it's kind of like the um, Milos and Samson thing because Cormier was rooting for Rubio, speaking very highly of him, even though people, you know, talk about how he has a really wide waist and he's blocky and he's narrow and all of this. Cormier always seen the potential in him. So for me, being a fan and a, spect a spectator of this industry, it looks real sketchy on his hands to be promoting some guy. Maybe it's because he need uh, some someone that speaks Spanish. Okay. But this is the thing. That guy can't teach your posing. I know firsthand that when Rubio did turn pro and did hit the top three the following day later, that he was being coached from the audience. Up in the, uh, Cormier was in the audience coaching him, showing him his poses, getting him to move forward, get him to bring his arms. So he had to coach this man from enjoying watching the show, right? Which means that Rubio could understand what Cormier is trying to articulate to him. So if he said he needed a coach that speaks Spanish, that's total BS because he was able to understand what Cormier is saying when it pertains to posing and everything. I just think these guys now are getting the taste of money and it's getting to their heads because everybody is not built for this lifestyle to be able to be putting these different enhancements into your body because it plays with your psyche. A lot of it plays with your psyche. And when it starts playing with your psyche, you could potentially think that people's is out to get you. People's is trying to hurt you. People's is trying to steal money from you. Like it'll just play on your mind like you're schizophrenic or whatever. But this is the thing. When it comes to Cormier, I've been knowing Chris Cormier for a long time freaking time you know and I have not yet ever once heard anything that could pertain Cormier to be shady towards someone in this industry or outside this industry so for me to be witnessing you know uh, certain moves that people is making and I'm reading comments and looking at other bloggers and stuff and it's not like it's not, they trying to make it seem like what Cormier was doing wasn't good enough or it was anybody could have done it trust me posing is extremely hard posing the right way is nearly impossible without the proper training you know you gotta be really on it every single day with a non-biased eye recording yourself and picking your posing apart until you find the right angles that work for your body type. But when you have someone that have that knowledge, have that experience that can speed up the process for you and to get you there a whole lot smoother and a whole lot faster, you don't just cut them off for no reason the cowardly way. Now, like I say, I'm just giving y'all my opinion on what I'm seeing. But I'm seeing, I'm not saying that any of this is true, but I have no other choice but to speculate when it pertains to this. 
And what I'm seeing and what I'm speculating is that Carmier was just good for what he was good for. And that's that. No. People got to understand in this business, it's hard to come across good people that really care about your well being. It's hard to come across them. When you do, you hold on, you treat them very delicately, you respect them, you show them the same gratitude, respect, and love that they show you. You don't wait till you think that you up high enough and you don't need them no more. Because guess what? Everything that goes up eventually will come back down. And on your way down, you're going to have to see some of those individuals that you thought you didn't need anymore. And they might be at a higher level when you hit the ground and you're going to be looking to be picked up. You're going to look for help and it's not going to be there. I just be thanking the gods. And I'm always humble that I'm not like those type of individuals. I know people like, oh, you backstab rich. What did Rich Piana do for me besides put me in the video and said my name? He didn't pay my rent. He didn't pay for any of my properties. He didn't pay for none of my vehicles. He didn't put no food on my table. What did he actually do for me? Y'all fail to realize when I came to him, I already had everything. Trust me, those that do stuff, genuinely the kindness of they hard for me trust me we don't ever fall out you could go on my instagram you will always see me promoting the same people who had contribute valuable pieces to me whether it was knowledge whether it was a push whether it was financial whatever the case may be you will always see them you know that's just like how i always give um coach psycho lewis the utmost respect you know, for what he did, because we both was in a tight situation. We both were great friends. And he seen my potentials of me getting myself as far as I possibly was able to get myself at the time to where we made something magical happen. You see, Jay Cutler, uh, y'all already know uh, how, how I feel about Jay Cutler. You see what I'm saying? It's the it, it, oh, Dexter Jackson. Y'all know. Dave Roulette, y'all know. The list goes on. So I know how it is to not shit on no one. But what y'all fail to realize is y'all don't know the backstory to why things went to the left with that whole Rich Piana situation. So y'all guys need to not be so uptight about something that y'all don't know anything about. It's okay to voice your opinion, but to pass a judgment for nearly eight years on somebody is just crazy. It just let me know that I'm living in y'all heads rent free and you guys should be ashamed of yourself to be that weak. Anyway, I'm just giving y'all my rant because this is something that's been on my mind since I've been paying attention to the media of fitness and stuff. So I show hope Rubio and Samson find what it is they're looking for get it together because I would sure hate to see two individuals with all the right tools in the world to get them to the top to self-destruct they self. Anyways, the people's champ giving it to you, gun barrel straight, Ron, cut no filter till next time. I'll smell y'all later. Kick, kick, kick.